The federal bribery case involving one of Houston Mayor Sylvester Turner's top aides. Our 13 Investigates team confirming an FBI search yesterday in a Houston high-rise. Ted Oberg joins us live with the details coming in late this afternoon. Ted? Yeah, Gina, when we first learned of this case involving that City Hall aide weeks ago, we suspected the FBI would have more to do, and it appears now they have. Just weeks ago, William Paul Thomas, one of the mayor's closest advisors, pleaded guilty to a federal bribery charge. Federal court documents suggest Thomas took bribes to help restaurants stay open during the COVID era. The documents suggest Thomas was using his position to help businesses get temporary permits to stay open in exchange for cash. Today, the FBI confirmed it was, in their words, lawfully present at an apartment in the Bayou Bend Towers yesterday conducting court-authorized activity. Typically, that's government speak for serving a federal search warrant. The apartment is linked to a Houston business owner named Mario Azodinia, active in nightclubs and restaurants. Azodinia is not returning calls or text messages and doesn't appear to yet have a lawyer. But he told at least one associate we spoke with that the FBI was at his apartment in connection with the City Hall case involving William Paul Thomas. One of the restaurants Azodinia is connected to is the Seaside Lounge just outside downtown. City records for permits Seaside Lounge needed match the dates in federal court documents in the William Paul Thomas case. Court filings, Gian and Eric, don't yet draw the connection between William Paul Thomas and Azodinia, and it's important to note he is neither in custody nor at this point charged with any crime.